Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be talking about the future of restaurants, Cloud Kitchen. Hey guys, my name is Wilson. Today we're shooting a video on Cloud Kitchen versus dine-in restaurants and what's the pros, what's the cons, and how fitting it is for you. Why is it that we're shooting this video? It is because I'm getting a lot of emails about the Cloud Kitchen concept, whether it is actually as good as it sounds, what are the pitfalls, and how come I can start a cloud kitchen as little as $10,000 versus why would I be spending hundreds of thousands of dollars just to sign a lease for a dine-in restaurant? What's the pros, what's the cons, what's more fitting for me? And I'm gonna be dissecting this whole thing all in this video. So make sure you guys keep watching. Without further ado, what is Cloud Kitchen? Cloud Kitchen, also known as Ghost Kitchen, Virtual Kitchen, is a delivery only restaurant business. Restauranteurs and chefs can actually rent out these spaces in order for them to prepare the food to deliver through third party apps such as Uber Eats, Grubhub, Postmates, all these different delivery services. And the whole focus for Cloud Kitchen is for you to be able to maximize your orders anywhere from 1,000 to more than 2,000 servings per day. If you guys wanna know more about what Cloud Kitchen really is, make sure you guys check out this video because I dive deep into what they are, the nuances of it. Now that we understand what Cloud Kitchen is, we're gonna be talking about the pros of the Cloud Kitchen. First of all, they have super low startup costs. As low as $1,800, you already have a kitchen which has all the equipment necessary. You guys can check out Coho. It is an amazing cloud kitchen out there as an example. And on top of that, a lot of these businesses does offer mentorship that helps you along the way, that guides you along the way. And that's an added bonus, which you would not get in a conventional way of building your own restaurant. Another reason why they have super low startup costs is the fact that you don't need to pay labor in order for you to build out and renovate your whole shop and on top of that you don't need to pay that extra months of rent just for renovations and just to deal with city permits and so on and so forth a super pro that i really like about cloud kitchen is the fact that they have super fast setup and why is that the case it is because their infrastructure is already all built out the equipment is built out the health and safety is all past already so what that means is that you can actually go into your ghost kitchen your virtual kitchen and you can be in operation within days versus if you were to build your own restaurant that would take you months if not years another pro about having your own cloud kitchen is that you have way less headaches to deal with and what i mean by that is you don't need to worry about things breaking down you don't need to worry about that light bulb that's broken or the toilet seats that broken or the exterior or the interior of your restaurant because your cloud kitchen take care of everything for you. You don't need to worry about all these crazy stuff. And all you have to do is to focus on your craft, focus on creating the best quality food that you can to serve your customers. Another pro is that you can actually experiment. And what I mean by that is because your brand is not tied to a specific location, you can spawn multiple different ideas, multiple different brands in order for you to see what is a product market fit. And once you hit that product market fit, then you can grow from there onwards and perhaps one day have your own restaurants if there is a product market fit. And last but not least, it's all about the profits. With Cloud Kitchen, we're looking at way higher profits because we can save on the rental costs. We can save on the additional labors that we have to pay our labors in order for us to maintain a restaurant, in order for us to maintain the slow times. And that's the reason why that profits can go up as high as more than 15%. And that is a really, really big reason why cloud kitchens are getting all the hype in these last few years. Now, with all the good stuff about Cloud Kitchen, we're gonna be talking about the cons of operating a Cloud Kitchen. First of all, the lack of visibility is a huge, huge negative for running Cloud Kitchen. There's no way that a car can drive by and see your restaurant. There's no way that you can put a sandwich board out there and capture walk-in traffic. And you miss all those different types of traffic because you, all you're relying on is these third-party apps that's gonna do the marketing for you. There's zero visibility and the creativity for your marketing is quite limited by you operating in a cloud kitchen. Another con about the cloud kitchens is the fact that you're relying on third-party apps. So that means you lose all the controls that you can have when dealing with your own restaurant. You lose that capability to create that ambience, that experience that you wanna to deliver to your customers because 
all your sales are coming through third-party apps and one day they can cut your and they're basically your bottleneck they can cut your services they can cut your restaurants if they don't like you they can increase the rent if they don't like you so what that means is that all your business is being held by these third part third party apps out there and we already see that the, these third party apps are already buckling down and making it much more harder for businesses because what they're doing is they're having exclusive partnerships with companies and brands that are only able to host on their specific platforms and they cannot be signing up on multiple different platforms. And in the future, perhaps when, there, when this becomes the norm, when this becomes more mature, you're gonna end up having to pay much more for being on the first page. You're gonna be paying much more because your whole lifeline is being held by these third-party apps out there. And in turn, basically, your own business is in the hands of someone else. You lose a lot of control. Another con that I really, really don't like is the fact that we don't own any of our data. We don't own our customers because all the customers know about your restaurant is through the apps, it's through Uber Eats, it's through Postmates. And in turn, if Uber Eats decides to cut you, they can cut you and there's no way for you to reach your customers. Same thing with owning your data. There's no way for you to email your customers. There's no way for you to contact them because all this information is through these third party apps, which in turn loses a lot of controls for you. Now, what are dine-in restaurants? Dine-in restaurants are the conventional restaurants that you sign a five-year lease, 10-year lease, and basically that location is yours to operate. You deal with all your equipment, you deal with all the leases, and that's what dine-in restaurant is. The pros of running your own dine-in restaurant is visibility. Visibility is a huge, huge thing if you're in a very densely populated area. In a city like New York, this is huge because you can convert all those walk-in traffics into your customers. And that's something that Cloud Kitchen, you don't have that. You don't have the opportunity to have your own light boards, your signages in order for you to attract the walk-in traffic. Another pro of having your own dining restaurant is that you can build a better connection with your customers. And what I mean by that is you can actually see your customers, whether they're enjoying the food or they're not enjoying the food. You can actually bond with them. You can actually chat with them. You actually know them by their first name. And that itself allows you to build a very loyal community around you, which in turn allow you to outbeat all the competitors out there because your loyal customers know you by the first name. They know your story. They know you because you're able to build a connection. Another pro of having your own dining restaurant is that you own all your data. You are able to actually email your customers at your wish. You can actually contact them. You can actually communicate with them. You can build a rapport with them, which in turn allow you to charge a premium, allows you to actually develop that trust and allows you to build that customer loyalty. And that's something that you can never have when you're working in a cloud kitchen. Now time for cons of a dining restaurant is the huge upfront cost huge upfront cost for you to be able to have that lease with your landlord for them to actually spend months for renovations, months for city permits and regulations, and you're spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on equipment and your labor design, all the whole nine yard that you're spending months on dealing with just opening up a restaurant. Yet, you don't know whether this product is working, whether this concept is receptive for your customers or not. And this acts as a huge barrier that prevents a lot of really talented chefs out there to create their own restaurants because they just don't have that upfront capital. If you find any value in this video whatsoever, make sure you smash the like button because that's just gonna show me that this video is the type of content that you like. Please show some support, smash the like button. Let's carry on. Another con is the headaches that's involved with running your own restaurant. You're talking about having your own training for your whole team. You're talking about hiring, incentivizing your whole team because that's one of the biggest problems out there for restauranteurs is managing their own team. And on top of that, you need to drive your own sales. You need to drive people through the doors. Sales are not guaranteed. That means you need to work on your marketing 10 times over and that takes you away from doing something that you enjoy, which is to create an amazing experience, an amazing dish for your customers. Another con of having your own dining restaurant is that it is very immensely difficult to experiment. If you're running an Italian restaurant, you can't just pivot and say that you want to serve Chinese food the next day. It becomes very, very difficult for you to try out different types of 
cuisine because of the fact that you your brand and your your business is known for that specific cuisine. So it's very, very difficult to experiment. And on top of that, you are location dependent. And what that means is that your location is already there. There's no way that you can pivot. There's no way that you can actually change the location. And people know you as the Italian shop. And that's why it is so difficult to experiment different offerings and different servings out there. Once again, with Dine-in restaurant, the profits are so much lower than the cloud kitchen because you need to pay for the upfront costs of your labor, maintaining the restaurant, maintaining the whole shop, and the overhead of driving traffic through your doors. And that itself adds up to tens of thousands of dollars, which cuts into your profit margins. We're talking about typical dine-in restaurant, five to 10% margins, and that is a very slim margins to play around with. So there you go, Cloud Kitchen and Dine-In Restaurants. The pros, the cons, the pros and the cons. Now we're gonna figure out which one is more suitable for you, whether it's Cloud Kitchen or Dine-In Restaurant. If you are a newbie, if you just started out wanting to create this recipe to the world and you only have 10, 10,000, 20,000, $30,000, then I would highly recommend you to check out Cloud Kitchens because the investment that you're putting in, it's minimal in comparison to a dine-in restaurant. You can actually go out there, prove your concept, prove the fact that you have a product market fit, which is essential to any business out there. Having a product market fit it is not a fad, it is something that people love and enjoy. And when your business grows and when you have a lot of sales, then you can consider having your own dine-in restaurant because when you have your own dine-in restaurant, you are able to actually control your experience, control what you have to offer to your customer. And in turn, allows you to be much more profitable because of the fact that you have much more revenue coming in, your rental costs in turn proportionally is much lower than your cloud-based kitchen because you're able to fulfill much more people through a dine-in restaurant experience. Once again, if you are a newbie, check out Cloud Kitchen Concept. And if you know what you're doing, if you have deep pockets, if you can afford the investment and the months, of building up your restaurant, then having a dining restaurant is a very good choice for you. So there you go, Cloud Kitchen versus a dining restaurant experience. It is both are a really great concept, both allows you to have their pros and the cons. Make sure you guys understand this and understand what is it that you're trying to get out of this in order for you to build that restaurant of your dreams. Nonetheless, it is still an amazing opportunity out there. Check out the Cloud Kitchen, check out having a dining restaurant, and make sure you check out the resources below so then that way you can build something of your dreams. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe along the journey. I'm gonna be sharing a lot more of these info with you, a lot more strategies, tips, tricks, and experiences with you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.